Hello and welcome back to the farm. Uh, we're doing some feeding of the cows right now. And uh, we're using the little skid steer to do this. I could use the, uh, the 6M, but uh, I wanted to use this because we've got a little bit of uh, silage that we had in storage. So I'm just putting that into our trailer. And uh, with that done, I need to get some hay. So we're going to grab that next. Let's just take our parking brake off. There we go. I must have clipped that with my elbows. We came down. That does find that. Oh. I had an early start this morning, so I had the lights on. Uh, but yeah, we got our, our feed mixer on there. We're gonna, it's going to be easier to get in there with this uh, and uh, and get this done. So let's grab one of these. So we're just topping this off, making sure our feed mixer is completely full. And once we've done that, uh, we're going to go and give it to our cows. Because uh, they're all looking a little bit hungry at the moment. They've got plenty of grass. Uh, it is still autumn. And we do still have grass in their enclosure. But uh, they are in need of some mixed ration as well to fatten them up nicely. They have actually, we are uh, looking at doing, uh, we're looking at very soon selling some of them off. Lots of them have reached weight. It's been a good year. They're... Uh, They've reached weight at a good age as well. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at, uh, at being ready to sell uh, in the next few weeks. Earlier than I'd expected to. So, uh, yeah, that's really good. I'm really happy about that. Uh, let's start this up. There we go. Now, we should be able to head over and get this emptied out. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's it's really good to see that. Uh, the other thing we've got is that our corn is ready. So we're going to be heading out and, uh, and getting the combine set up for that later and make sure that we can um, uh, and, and head out and cut our two cornfields, uh, which should be really good. Let's empty this out. And, uh, and yeah, so all round, uh, pretty good situation on the farm right now. As I said, the cows are hungry. That's uh, that's all gone in there, which is uh, good news. We'll turn that off, and, uh, and we can go and put this away. Oh, we have to put this away down the far end. We use the roundabout here to turn the tractor around, and uh, and yeah, I need to go and get the combine ready for us to uh, start work on fields 19 and 21 got the tractor out on the field and i'm now going to hook up the corn header okay it picked up there we go and pop down here and try and get in here and get this connected up it's a tough area to get in on this There we go. But you can, get, you can squeeze yourself in there, then you can get that done. Uh, lift it up. Back it out. And we can head over to here. So we've actually got uh, a few days harvesting to do. We should get the corn out today. But the, uh, the soybeans down in field 21 already as well. Um, we'll probably get to them tomorrow. Uh, and then I'm expecting... This is always tight. Uh, I'm expecting the uh, soybeans in the field ahead of us uh, to be ready in the next week or so. So we're going to be doing those soon as well. This is almost ready to harvest. We're uh, just waiting for it to dry out a little bit more. Try 
trying to avoid getting myself into well, avoid turning into the uh, soybeans there let's fold those out nice big capello header we've got here and we can get into that and uh, all good There we go. Now, I just need to wait. An hour later and crop is all good. Let's get started. Turn on our thresher, drop it down, and in we go to a nice, healthy crop of corn. Perfect. It's good. It, it's very nice to have a clear few days to get the rest of the harvest in. Uh, it's been it's been nice to us this year. The weather. And, uh, and having a nice dry day now and uh, and over the next or well, a nice few dry days over the next week it's just gonna let us get this uh, get this field in I'm just gonna go here and grab that and then I need to cut in a little bit just to get myself around the corner Without too much hassle. There we go. And down. Um, yeah, headlands are always fun. Thankfully, on these small fields, they're almost all headlands. So it makes it that much uh, more interesting. Keep this nice and even, and then uh, as I said, I always like corn because it's it's nice and tall. You can easily see your rows, and you can stick very easily to what you need to do. And the nice thing about these two fields is that they're very close to each other. Although I'm enthused by how much we've uh, we've already got. We're, uh, we're nearly halfway around the field and we've got nearly 30% of this. It's just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, size of these fields, being small fields, um, means that we don't. Uh, Chris isn't having to help us today. Uh, he'll help us with the soybeans uh, later on. But at the moment, he's, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's not needed for this because this is so small this field that we can just keep emptying the tractor and trailer it's not far for me to to run and grab it so there we are make sure that they're nice and central and um don't need to worry about the uh, turn in this corner quite so much. Uh, we are all good otherwise, and this is uh, this is coming down very very nicely. Nearly at the end of the headlands, the first headlands, and we have 80% full. That is absolutely brilliant. I also realise I've left the engine on on the tractor, so. We need to sort that. I do seem to be slipping out a little bit wide as I get to the end of these rows. Especially showing on the longer rows more. So I've just got to watch that. No GPS on this combine, uh, as I said earlier in the year. Uh, we, uh, we just have the... Uh, yeah, look at that. We are very nice and full. Uh, we just have the uh, sort of line of sight. Fine for, for crops like this. Out. Very 
close enough and I can empty that. Right, I'm just going to hop out. And we'll turn the engine off on this rather than leave that running. And then, once we've got this emptied, we can uh, we can head back into the crop like so. Give it a bit of a shake, and we'll head back in. I think we'll take another headland. Uh, there's not quite enough space to turn around. Won't need much for the main body of the crop, but um, yeah. But we could just we could just take it. No, there's not there's not really enough space here to turn around easily, so turn it all back on, lower our header down, and away we go. That'll do nicely. And as usual, we don't have quite as much come out of the second headland. Uh, we're up to 60% with that. Uh, but that does mean that we're now able to sort of cut the rest of the field. Uh, full trailer off here is good. Uh, about ex pretty much what I expected. Uh, a trailer off here and a trailer off uh, our other uh, off our other field of corn. Uh, both of those will be good. Both of those will work, uh, and that means that we'll uh, we'll be in a position where we can very easily. Uh, what, 60,000 litres of uh, corn off here? That's that's exceptionally good. So it's been a good yield all round this year, actually. I've been pretty happy with the situation. Uh, we are 76%, well, so we're good. We should be able to get one more cut, and then we'll go and empty. And then we'll just have a little bit left to top off, uh, which should be about right, I think. Uh, and then we can uh, go over and get this tipped. Uh, we'll get the other, we'll get the tractor and trailer over to the other field, um, and then we can get the combine over there as well. So it's uh, yeah, a little bit of work to make sure everything sort of fits in the right place. I have about, I have the space for just under 2,000 meters here don't know I think we might have a bit more than that left on this field but we'll try it's the same variety we've got both fields so uh, if I run out of space in here oh no, I've gone too far over I was watching the middle not the edge and it's always Whenever you're harvesting, always wise watch the edge, watch where uh, your last divider is, because if you don't do that, you end up doing what I've done a few times here, 98%. I don't think we've got the space. That is, that is a very full grain tank. So what I'm going to do is we'll take this over here. We will fit more in. So we can move this all over now. It's probably only about a thousand meters left on this field. There we go, empty that out. And then what I'll do is, uh, is we'll go and take the last bit of this and, uh, and head over to the other field. This trailer should take about another 6,000 litres, I think. Yeah, virtually on. That is looking pretty full. I think we should be able to top off from this field uh, before we go over to the other one. But the way we can do it is uh, I'll grab the traction trailer, come and empty this before we head over. Should be able to get this in one row. 
move it over slightly, see if this will work. Yep, yeah, let's get in that side and that side. So keep it nice and straight and we'll get all of this in one cut. Which we haven't quite. Never mind. Through my life on this field has ended up doing that a lot. Right. Let's do this. And yeah, I want to empty the combine before I uh, before I start on the next one. So we can combine over here, and you can see where the next field is. That down, that down. Let's go get the tractor and trailer. Oh, you can hear the wind whipping across here today. Dry day it may be, but it's a warm wind sort of blowing across. Much better in the cab. Clean this up. Right, get over out. There it comes. There we are. Yeah, not much more to go in. So close that up. Just gonna get this across the road. Normally fit through here and get right. Actually, I'm not going to. Let's just fold this up before we go through here. There we go. And that way, we know we're not going to muck it up. Right, and then we'll unfold it again. Lower it down and turn her off while we go and get rid of uh, what we've currently got in our trailer. Let's get the uh, plow in there. Yeah. Nice, easy way to go and tip this. Uh, and we should be about the same on the next field. Fully expecting uh, that we'll be able to just uh, get get it all in the single trailer. This is the nice thing about this trailer. Uh, holds 30,000 litres and uh, and does well as a result. I've never really because uh, I because I grew up in Europe. Um, I've never really got into the whole uh, bushels thing. I tend to work in that much to much to my dad's uh, chagrin. Uh, he, he very much. Uh, works in those units and I, I work in these because it's just what I'm used to. There we go. Yeah, so a few times before, learnt most of uh, most of my farming over in England. And as a result, uh, yeah, do 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 things a little bit different to some of my uh, U.S. neighbours. Like right driving on the wrong side of the road. You'd have thought after all the years of being back here, I would have uh, I would have got used to that. Never mind. Let's 
get back round here and back in support of our combine again. And I want to put this. We'll put this in this large grass area at the top of the field. A little bit bumpy, but we should be fine. Nicely out of the way, but easy to access and uh, and easy for us to get back uh, to the main farm with as well. So this is our first year that we've uh, harvested field 19. Uh, it was one of those weird bits of land that sat between both uh, mine and Susie's farms uh, that are that neither of us owned, and uh, I think it, yeah, it was owned. It was owned by the uh, the junkyard behind us. And just a, just a weird spot of land. I don't know if we'd sold it uh, many years ago or, or what, but it basically, yeah, it just sat here um, pretty much unused. And, uh, and yeah. So uh, we took it on, made it uh, another small field. We've got, we got enough space action to expand this field a little bit, and I might do with the uh, plough this year. Just take it a little bit more up to our boundary. We uh, we did it this year based on uh, based on what its previous sort of position and layout has been. Uh, but next year, next year I think it would be good. We've got to get the plow in here anyway because this is, uh, well, this is corn and we have to plow in in order to get a, a decent crop for next year. But uh, yeah, as a result, we kind of need, I think, to expand this a little bit. Uh, see if we can make the most out of this this plot of land that we've got. I mean, already it's uh, it's doing well. We're on. You know, we're, we're a quarter tank full halfway through the field. So it's not quite as um, as well as the previous field, but it's also a smaller field than the last one. As I was saying, much smaller field. We've uh, reached the end of the first headland. I'm going to go round and do a second, although it's fairly unnecessary. Uh, well, I, it kind of is necessary down the bottom end. But it, basically, we are half full of a single headland. So I'm expecting us to have enough to, to empty after the second headland without much hassle. Uh, but that's not going to leave an awful lot of field. Uh, we're going to get uh, maybe a tank and a half off here if we're lucky. Uh, so much, much smaller field, much smaller amount. Yield is about the same for, uh, for the same amount of space. So, uh, yeah, I'm pleased with it, uh, but it's not going to be that whole uh, 60,000 litres I was talking about earlier. I've completely forgotten how much smaller this field is uh, than its neighbour. And, uh, and as a result, yeah, we are getting so much less off this field than we, were, than we got off the last one. And, and yeah. It's this bottom end that's really important for the uh, for the second headland, simply because we just don't have the uh, space to turn around with the uh, with the trees behind us. So it just it just means that we need to to get that done and uh, and and to take that headland out. Uh, I don't need to worry about it so much for the top end, other than the fact that I parked the tractor across the top end. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll take it out. We'll uh, we'll get the, the second headland cut at the top, and then we can empty out. You can see where I parked the tractor is not overly conducive to me having lots of space to turn around. Down. And I'm not going to take the full width because we uh, we don't need to. Just need to give us enough turning space. Take out our auger. No, we can empty out, and yeah, look, look at that. It's about two more runs. We could possibly, very possibly, could have got all of that in one tank. 
but uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We definitely had more than a single trailer, which is good. But yeah, I feel for the other side of the woodland uh, that that track goes through to. That is, uh, that is part of Susie's farm. Over that way. Take that in. Perfect. So here we are all good, and uh, and yeah, two more runs on this should get us clear of the corn, which is great news. Harvest is going well this year, and uh, the next bit, the last bit that we've got for harvest this year is to get the uh, to get the soybeans done and if we can get those done we might even get some seeding done for the winter wheat and the winter canola which would be great news especially now that we've got the corn out uh, we want to get these corn fields turned around pretty quickly because uh, yeah That is, uh, that is going to be, actually I think it's, so I can't remember where in my rotation it is, but one of them is the winter wheat, either the soybean, the soybean. so uh, yeah, we need to get a quick turnaround on stuff on these fields uh, in order to get that winter wheat in. Uh, I think we're going to be getting the winter uh, canola crop in pretty soon to be honest. Yeah, there we go. So empty that out and that will have us done. Right. Which is great. So I am going to go and take uh, this back to the yard and get that emptied. Uh, but that's really all we've got for today. So uh, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.